Welcome back to the surprise of Haruhi Suzumiya. In the last part, the timeline converged into two. <laughs> and just like that, I've now decided Wait, I'm uploading both of them. Nice. Converged into two. Mean I mean, I separate, split into two, yeah. And now they've converged. <laughs> now they've converged. Okay. So there, there, I made a, I made a joke that Carrie gets. Thank you. <laughs> Make up for that last one. Where Unfortunately, it came at the cost of being a joke that Gabe does not get. <laughs> Um, what they say. Speaking of niche interests, I'm sure I have my, my fair share. Uh, anyway, uh, on the subject of, um, like, going off the heels of what I was talking about before, a subject I wanted to bring up in this part. Um, so yes. we, recently, we recently got word about something regarding the PS5 in Japan, something that I'm not really a fan of. Okay. It what? turns out... Okay, 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 okay. So, you know how in Japan the button layout for PlayStation controllers is re reversed, right? Or more yes. specifically, it's reversed when it comes over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Japan is now going to be using the American button system. Poor bastards. You want to know what makes this even worse for them? Hasn't that controller lay button layout been the same since the first one? Yeah, since the PS1. And oh. kind of like how it has been the same for us in the same regard. Uh, but that's not the point I'm making here, all right? All right, so... The, um... The, uh... The thing about, like... The thing about this is that it, this level of muscle memory goes deeper than you're probably realizing, Gabe. The, uh... The PS1 controller, like, the way it was laid out when it was made in Japan, was definitely absolutely modeled after the same button layout on the SNES controller. Where the A button's on the left, the B button's on the bottom. You know? And like, uh... Most... Any Nintendo controller that used the diamond format you still uses the SNES layout, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Yes, while the PlayStation controller uses symbols instead of layers, it letters, its meaning is still the same. Like, they still have the same response. In Japan, I mean. Yay. The only one that would do differently is the Dreamcast, for some reason, uh, but that was one console that lasted only three years, so I don't really count that. And the Xbox, which nobody owns in Japan. Therefore, mm -hmm. it's very likely that most Japanese gamers have never used a controller with that kind of button layout. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. And now they have to adapt to that because uh, PlayStation has just been addicted to uh, more Western styles of gaming lately. Yeah. I feel like PlayStation's That's... been getting too Western lately, honestly. So I feel like the RPGs have been. Uh, well, that, like, Square is very notorious for this as of late. Um, yeah. Um,. What I'm noticing specifically, though, is um, that, uh, what I'm noticing specifically is, like, it's likely because, um, in 2016, PlayStation actually moved their main headquarters from Japan to California. Mm-hmm. Just lame, because that's not what their highest market is. Yeah, yeah and, you know, sure. I really, I really don't think the PS4 was probably the best console for... To appeal for, to Japanese gamers, honestly. Yeah, I mean, well, I, well, I mean, it, oh, it absolutely had stuff that appealed to them. I just feel like it, they didn't. And sales, other sales too. Or, yeah, or, or, I just don't feel you know. like it made the effort as much as the three PlayStations that preceded it. <laughs> That's true. I feel like uh, they're trying to follow the same market that Xbox has been trying to follow. Um, and I feel like this, uh, like, make, using the international, uh, button layout in Japan as well, um, is going to, uh, it, it is, like, a big, like, factor of that. And I think it's also going to fuck over devs more than they think it is as well. Yeah, and, well... Are you getting a full body massage when you're in that thing? We'll say yes. You know how they like how in some countries they use like leeches for um, acupuncture. Oh, um, imagine that, but for your yeah, yeah, bloodletting. But imagine that for your whole body. Except it also hurts because it's like like and it does damage to you. It does. 
Dude, I don't like like it very much. Oh, um, <laughs> you. you said the funny uh, thing. I said the funny thing. Um, you did. But I feel like, uh, especially with your point in like how it's gonna fuck over the day. Oh, run it back. Run it <laughs> back. back in, Here we go. Just back in there. Run it back. Um, I think that's fucking bitch motion too. Uh, now you said it's gonna like fuck with the devs. I agree. I'll run it back. Get your ass back in there. All right, Gabe, um, you're never going to say your point if you keep. <laughs> it's true. I do detract a lot. Uh, uh, it means to get back on track. <laughs> but I feel like, but <clears throat> I don't know if you know anything about like the controller modding scene for a whole lot of places actually, and consoles. But controller modding has always been a really big thing. Um, you know, like. Here in the States, making controllers for lefties, for the Xbox. Right, 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 right. Um, <clears throat> I actually wouldn't be surprised if that scene... Um, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, you can do an electric shield thing that damages enemies. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the controller modding scene actually took off in Japan because of this. And they <clears throat> make the PS5 controller... Uh, the way it should be. Yeah, yeah, you just have to, it, like, they just have to make sure a capable company is devel is developing said controller. Although, something tells Wait, that, me, that, like, I, I don't know, like, off market. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like Japan is, like, a specific eye for quality uh, in, like, manufacturing that makes me feel like they probably don't have an equivalent to Mad Cats, but that's also True. just a guess, so... I don't know. My logic is, like, based off of, like, you know, like, they, they're really good at making things, like, look appealing and, like, actually, like, be as appealing as they look. Like, for example, I have a couple of uh, figures uh, that are actually really nice figures, but the thing is, I bought them at the airport in Tokyo. And they're still nice figures. Yeah, that's really interesting. So, and, and to backtrack a little bit, Remind me again, the, this this controller modification, that's, or not modification, this controller change that's taking place for PS3, is this only in Japan and not in the U.S.? Uh, well, it doesn't need to be in the U.S. because the U.S. controllers were already like that. Thank you. Put two and two together here. Uh, so I was going to say, if they were changing the one from the in the U.S. too, then I think the U.S. would probably just be come flooded with Chinese knockoff modifications. The original there... ones. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we kind of Americans already are. We kind of already are. Like, I, like, just like, I, the, the See, big thing to it. note is that there's a reason I use the term Mad Cats. Because yeah. Mad Cats is the shitty third-party controller developer. Are they? Okay, yes, okay. Mad Cats game, baby. See, I don't know much about video games, but I do know a little bit about American economics. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty easy to predict what's going to happen. Yeah, so, like, yeah, what I'm getting at here is, like, uh, when the PlayStation came to the U.S., for whatever reason, um, they, uh, changed the, like, the, uh, way the buttons react around, so that, like, while the circle button means yes and the X button means no in, um, like, on, like, in Japan, like, they changed it so the X button means yes and the circle button means no. Yes. These days, not too hard to adapt to, especially because Xbox does it as well. But uh, mm -hmm, God yeah. forbid if you play a game on a Nintendo system right after playing a game on a PlayStation system, or vice versa. <laughs> right, uh, right. You have to consciously change that muscle memory. Honestly, if I think any button layout on just about any controller should be universal, it's actually probably the GameCube controller. Yes. Because like, you just have you like this the best? fat button in the center that is the yes button, and three <laughs> other buttons bordering around it. Yeah, that's true. Was so also, nice. also the octagonal rims on the analog sticks, moi, oh, allow for gross. just really, really preciseness that you can't get you with it. just circular. Yep, you get those good angles. Now, man. now a lot of this is very, very specific and definitely a thing that a lot of people don't think about until they're actually forced to think about it. But still, yeah. <laughs> ah. <coughs> ah. Ah. Damn, time really cut off. Oh, I thought it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like shooting your hook shot and your retractor is like, oh, I've got 60 hours left. All right, time to shoot it. Again. <laughs> I feel like I feel like what we saw there was some real King Crimson shit, though. Honestly, 
<laughs> it reminds me of in Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak when we would be in a really intense scene. I guess intense for Hamtaro Ham Ham Heartbreak. Like someone would be in imminent danger. And then you learn a new ham chat word, and ham Charles is like, oh, wait, hang on. Someone's in imminent danger, but I need to write this new word into my dictionary. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. I understand you're drowning, and your lungs are literally filled with water, but I just learned big mega Q. All right, I need to get huge real fast, all right? <laughs> you need to wait. You like, need to what, wait what, I was, turn, what I was actually going off of, Carrie, was that how, like, I started moving, and it just cut, and then it's just, like, suddenly, like, before I even really started launching, I was already launching. <laughs> so time skipped. It's King Crimson. Yes, it is King Crimson. I was going off of the strange interruptions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that make that part. I, I yes. get your logic. Oh my there. God! I can't believe Spat has pulled a gun on me. Hold on. <laughs> oh, wait, but I just learned the I word for gun. I need to write that down. Clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You never do your lesson. Coo, coo, coo. Okay, I'll give you one, but only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So do you want to try? Count. There's a total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. I'll show you the way, so don't f so follow me. I don't... I'm not liking the shape of his teeth. <laughs> I don't like his weird rainbow propeller belt, even though he's a beaver, but this actually does remind me. He has glasses, he's kind of weird, and he laughs with Koo. I'm pretty sure this is Kulalu and Beaver form. You know what the thing <laughs> is? I, was, I, I started thinking that the moment he made that laugh, too. So yeah. I think I'm going to change his voice to compensate. Um, back in the day, I was able to make I do a Kulalu impression that sounded exactly like Chuck Huber, so... <laughs> I don't know if I can still do it, but it's worth a try. <laughs> it is worth a try. This is oh, a lot sweet. like that uh, that one star in Mario Galaxy with the guppy. Only this game's older than that. This is true. The goopy. I'm just bringing that up because I just played that one yesterday. <laughs> oh, well, that, you that play star, that mission? That star specifically, star? I mean. I'm yeah. uh, in the middle of Galaxy at the moment. Technically, I can beat Are the you, game uh... at any time, but I'm going for 100% because Galaxy is actually worth getting 100%. <laughs> Amen, brother. Although I did also do that with sunshine, and I hate myself for it. But you know, it's a well, hey, it was a what? bucket list activity. <laughs> there you go. You can you can tell people who are like, oh, you're like, yeah, well, I 100 percent am wearing sunshine. Got yeah, the thing on the bright side, you never have to do it again. Facts. And I won't do it for the commentary. Nope. I wouldn't expect you to. That shit's. Yeah, I think we would all have maybe two brain cells left after that. On that note, though, I, would... I think some of the impossible know. shines aren't as impossible as people make them out to be. The only... Ooh. Like, the Pachinko one is one that's actually surprisingly easy to recover from, if you fuck up. Without dying, I mean. Did that, does the moon look like a skull uh, when you're underwater? That was perfect! That's not good! Oh, look at this guy! Oh, Did you hello. call me a little brother? I called you big brother, actually. What, an empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more. So, will you try? The rules are the same, but this time there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. Ooh. Yeah, can't be don't the big fall brother. behind. He has to use a, he has to use a floaty to swim. There, I did the lap. Big brothers can't use floaties. No, he can. He's actually nerfing himself. Uh, he's wearing a floaty because his tail is super strong. This uh, is actually lore. It's interesting. Actually lore. It's a handicap. Um. I was going to say, is, yeah. I, have to, uh, I have to interpret what the word nerfing potentially means in this context. But yeah, it means again. like to he's... play with nerf guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could uh, figure it out. DLDR, he's, uh, he's, sand he's sandbagging really hard yep. right now. Because <laughs> look at how fast he is, <laughs> even with his fucking floaty. He basically says, you know what? It's trying to make me buoyant, but I'm just going to <laughs> throttle through the water <laughs> so it doesn't rise me at all. Or maybe oh he's my so God. dense, he, is... he needs that to help him with his buoyancy, or else he would just sink directly to the ground. Oh, Imagine man. being that dense. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> he must be pretty dumb, too. Hey, there you go. You know, it's like, it, it, it's like, um, it, it, it's like this, uh, like this, uh, person comes up to him and is all like, Hey, you know, I've loved you for a really long time. And he's like, 
Sorry, what? I wasn't paying attention, and then he just sinks because he's that dense. <laughs> You want to like, know who actually oh, is that? Dense? I love you too. I love you too, best bud. Sinks to the fucking floor of the ocean. This crush looks at him like. It's actually that dense, Evan. Me. Word. You. Yeah. Is this, Do you is sink this like a fair? rock when you try and swim? Absolutely. <laughs> ah. It's because I play Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> it's, it's true. And then he runs across the ground and has to get air bubbles. Yeah. Which sucks is because they're chlorinated in the pool usually. Oh, oh and you know also, what? also, you can actually hear the timer. Like, that's not just, like, effect. You actually hear it. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. This is a mess, big brother. Damn, you really took their fucking treasure from their family. We underestimated you. Which yeah, just ruined their lives in one fell swoop. Oh, of course. Well, to be fair, he was acting like kind of a fucking bastard at the beginning. He's like, you haven't learned your lesson, have you, old man? And then, uh, and then you bodied him and his brother. And here's the fun uh, part. We're not actually done with them. Nope. Because next we take their pelts and make them into hats. Oh my god, Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis and Clark time. That's <laughs> not what I was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done with you yet. I'm not done with you yet. Kiss me! <laughs> I, uh... I've actually been listening... Because I found it on Spotify, because I, I totally forgot that the Sega Sound team is on there. Uh, oh my god, there's so much Sega stuff on Spotify. <laughs> yeah, I recently downloaded both the, uh... No, we don't have one. And then uh, volumes one and two of the Adventure Two soundtrack, dude. What the fuck? Okay, actually, I haven't ever like straight just listened to like each character's respective genre before. Um, and as a kid, I like hated Rouge's songs, dude. They're right up my alley. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's fucking... smooth jazz. It's jazz. It's fucking dude. amazing. It's jazz, and, jazz and bossa nova, like like even Mad Space, which tilts me. I was like, damn. This shit's a bop, even though I'm not hearing it for fucking five hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh uh, my God. That shit was really good. I was like, damn. So I saved all those. And then, of course, uh, the, you know, Sonic's got bangers. And Shadow's got bangers. Yeah, but I say And, too. like, aside from, aside from uh, the one where... Oh, what is it? All of Tails are also bangers except for one. Which one? Uh, I'm trying to remember the mission names the one where you're running through the city oh mission street thank you yeah that one's kind of whatever uh i'm not gonna lie uh while i do think that sa2 has a really good soundtrack it also just kind of disappoints me in some regard How so? uh because like outside of um outside of um outside of uh knuckles and rouge's stages there's a lot of emphasis on, like, rocks specifically. Oh, and also Shadow. Out also, outside of Knuckles, Rose, and Shadow, there's a lot of emphasis on rock, and it's just, like, kind of permeates throughout the majority of the soundtrack. And, like, I love rock, and I love a lot of these songs. It's just... Sonic games before it had so much variety to their soundtracks, and it's, like, after this game, like, rock kind of just, like, absorbs the soundtrack's, like, yeah. genre pool until about... Sonic Unleashed, I want to say. And I think, you know, and this is no, this is not, this is not me saying, you know, it's a bad thing. Because, like you said, you know, you like rock. I like yeah, and rock. again, these soundtracks like are rock. good soundtracks. It's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwayne likes rock. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, uh, Jin Sunue obviously is, you know, he is very, very good at the guitar. When you are very, very good at the guitar, you can make rock music very, very easily. And I'm not saying it's a cop-out because I <clears throat> only have the thinnest grasp of understanding when it comes to the guitar. But what I do know is, like you said, there's a lot of rock because that's... Oh, was he going to run it back? Oh... But that's, like, the sound that he is known for, and there's a reason for it, because he enjoys playing that kind of music. 
So when you have a lot of rock in sauna games, it's not because, you know, it's like, you know, Jun Tsunui is lazy. It's because, you know, he likes to produce that type of music. And yeah, of yeah. And I mean, like, if on Sega's that note, pay him for it, on that note starting with Unleashed is where uh, more composers started getting involved more often. Actually, no, starting mm -hmm. with Sonic 06 is when that happened. Yeah. Arguably with Rush, because Rush had Naganuma on the soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like, it's just, like, in comparison, especially because, like, they had to ditch my favorite variety of Sonic music for this, and that was the, uh, and that was the, uh, super boppin' New Jack Swing Club, like, style music that Sonic I, I CD and plenty yeah. of other games in that, like, after it just oozed. I miss Bebop and Funk and stuff in the Sonic games. It's why, like, Sonic Mania, like, hit top three on uh, Sonic soundtracks for me, specifically because they brought it back. Yeah, a second ago, Jesus. I think a big factor of it is just how, like, less involved with the series Nelfumi Hataya is, like, as the years have gone by. Mm -hmm. Um, like, he had a few tracks in Sonic Heroes, and they were the best tracks in Sonic Heroes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... And, you know, like, he appears every now and again. Although, he, while he was in Sonic Forces, um, I feel like they sacked him with a limitation that he wasn't really, like, as well adapted to. Yeah. Because his compositions and forces are the classic Sonic songs. Yeah. And the thing about the classic Sonic songs is that, like, I guess they, I guess, like, they probably just told him something that's, like, make it sound like Masato Nakamura's stuff from Sonic 1 and 2, and it's like, dude, that's not my style, Come is what on. I'm guessing happened. Yeah. yeah. Because they just had to go the Sonic 4 route with instrumentations again, although I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for actually sounding like Genesis noises that enforces. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to... Ugh. God, <laughs> Sonic 4 synths are just ugly. <laughs> Um, also, uh, I'd like to talk about how not only did you cause a rift in the relationship between two of those Beaver brothers, you also forced them to quit racing because they have nothing left. Eh, it's okay, we'll travel back in time and they'll be back to the way they were, except they won't have the bottle anymore because I'll still have it. It's true. Like, and where then the, they won't- Where'd the bottle go? <laughs> it's like, you must have taken it. What? No, I didn't- And then there's still a rift that happens between them and they never race again. Of course. So in the end, <laughs> it's like it's like it's like fast forward like nine years later, the younger Beaver is like working an office job, uh, like as the CEO of the company. It's like, wow, you know, you've made so much money. Is there any like, is there anything that could make your life better? It's like, and he's just like, you know, he's just like, nope, nothing. And then like person leaves, and then he just like looks at a photo of his brother, just like gets really sad. It's like in his wallet, yeah. He's just like. I really wish I hadn't made that mistake all those years back. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like cut to his brother who was like just like a, a construction worker or something. Some like job that doesn't pay super well actually. Or like or like just like a not very good job. Clearly like he's trying just tr struggling to make ends meet and he's like man, you know, didn't used to be this way. <laughs> So anyway, that's that's the saga of the Beaver Brothers. That is the saga of the Beaver Bros. <clears throat> God, I hate this because you have to be just right on the angle for this. Yeah. Just right on the angel. You, got, you gotta get the you gotta get the split just right on the angle. Oh, yeah. that's interesting. Okay. You gotta get the split. It's not the center that half is the worst. You have to get the yeah this the yeah. second pots. So. And uh, it's all like. Uh, these bastards just take it. Yeah, the angles just suck, and around. they just take so much money from you in the process. But yeah, you know, you, you just gotta be at the... You, you just gotta be your your angle or your devil. Oh. Uh, you or devil. Okay. I'm a little high there, pal. <laughs> you know what took me way too long to realize? The what? guy in that meme is Ego Raptor. <laughs> yeah, it, that is Mr. Aaron Hansen. Whoa. Fuck that one. <laughs> it's like when I you're bowling like... and you get the one pin that's... <laughs> right? 
I also feel like you're gonna get your head chopped off whenever, whenever you're like little. Yeah, you should just you should just stand far back enough so that when it splits, little. it actually it cuts the heads off. Oh, of those oh, doors oh, oh, yeah, oh! You mean you, you think you're back. gonna get your head chopped off when like the blades come back at you? I thought you meant like like with all the money you're taking, like they're gonna break his thumbs or something. <laughs> so you've got no more rupees, huh? Damn, ain't that a shame? This is terrible. I thought you were gonna say no blades. more root beer. <laughs> no more root beer for you. <laughs> no, not the root beer. <laughs> it's like in uh, Cat Scratch, that one cat who liked root beer a lot. That's all I remember about that show. Uh, yeah, I don't really remember much about the show either. I didn't see a lot a of episodes cat. of it because it was typically only on Nicktoons Network, which I didn't have. <laughs> Oof. So these they aren't they aren't ricocheting, are they? They're like they do they, they operate more the like way boomerangs. That, yeah, they're, they're like boomerangs. You launch them, uh, they uh, split away, come back at you, and just reattach to your arms. Yeah, I, I finally figured that out. For a while, it looked like they were ricocheting off the pots that you were breaking, but no. Interesting. So maybe you need to stand a little bit closer. I don't know, dude. I can see why this is tough. Yeah, it's, hmm. it's pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough. P tough. I thought you were gonna shoot the guy. You were getting so upset. <laughs> ah, man, I have a sleepy one today. <sighs> Why are you sleepy? Wake up. Oh, I'm awake. Okay, thanks, Gabe. No problem. I got you, Gary. Anytime. <laughs> You fool. I have 70 alternative pots. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of a few moments in Ham Taro, Ham Ham Z Night that you guys will get to see where you just have to keep going and going and going until you finally get it, but it's hard to get and they just take like your money you, and more. Just like rub, rub, rub more. I miss my <laughs> wife, Tails. I miss over. her a lot. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, except for you can I'll get gems and sunflower seeds in that case. They don't take them from you. God, imagine if there was All like right, a massive hamster for, mafia <laughs> regarding sunflower seeds. <laughs> what the fuck? Would it be sunflower seeds? Oh, and you know who would be in charge of it? It'd be Oxnard. Why would it be Because he's obsessed Oxnard? with sunflower seeds. Oxnard's the Don. <laughs> Oxnard's Don Oxnard. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's that's good, that's good. <laughs> god, I swear, every time Hamtaro gets brought up, we just completely corrupt its childish nature. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the upcoming commentaries for those games are gonna be probably just as much of a disaster as Heartbreak was, honestly, if not more so. Awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> 